Yep. Can you drive it? Yeah. You couldn't fit on this. What? You can't fit on this. Yep, can. No. Nope. Where'd I buy it? I have 10 of them. Where'd you look? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you that. Oh, any of them for sale? Yeah. You got Facebook Marketplace? I have YouTube. What? I have YouTube. Randy rides. Are we gonna be on your YouTube? Yeah, if you want to be. <laughs> I want one. You want one? I'm looking for an electric scooter and an electric bike. Nice. So how uh, much are you selling them for? I don't know yet. So you can pedal uh, and electric? Yeah, you can ride it like a motorcycle or with how pedals. How long does it take to charge? Uh, this one takes about four hours. And how long does it last? Uh, 50 miles or so. Nice. Yeah, it's not bad. This one goes 28. Woo! Yeah, that's why I said you probably shouldn't be riding one of these. It's a little oh, fast. He has he has like that yeah. Well, I might, I will subscribe and. Oh, yeah, yeah I got electric scooters. Randy yeah, Randy rides. I got stickers, but I don't think I have them with me. Yeah, we, me and Con, me and uh, me and him, I've been looking for electric stuff. Yeah. He said it's Randy rides. Yep. I just got an electric skateboard in. I review them on YouTube, that's what I do. Do you have an electric scooter? Yeah, I have Level two. One is your, uh, that's a Walmart one, right? No. No? Uh, is your uh, profile picture a lightning bolt? Yeah. Sir. Okay, so is this you? Yeah. Do you yeah. live around here? Yeah, I live around here. Okay. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live over there. Okay, yeah. I live on, right in, you know where the apartments are? Yeah. I live in the condos down from those. My grandma lives there. Yeah? Nice. She lives on the first lot. No, the oh, second. I see ZX in one of your videos. Who? Yeah. What? ZX in one of your videos. Yeah. Well, have a great day. I'm you gonna, too. I'll check That's your right. YouTube out. Yeah, check it out. I'll Are you subscribe. you guys over here much? Oh, uh, not a lot. Uh, since we come hey, back home. Yeah, we go home. to your grandma's a lot. Though. Yeah, we go to my grandma's yeah. a lot. Well, oh. if you're ever around, I'm always on a different bike every time. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, check it out. So, have a good day. Next time I see you, I might have stickers with me. I'll give them to you. Okay. All right. You. See you. Have a good day. Sir. You too. <laughs> see, I told you. I'm like a local celebrity in this <laughs>
happens to drive on the main road. I'm only going a little bit. There's a car, but I got enough room. And e-bikes are, you know, still relatively new. See, it's like they're so new to people still. And I guess people, they're getting pretty popular. Everybody turns and looks. Now, I can definitely fly down the sidewalk, but... Too many people out walking today. So what do I think about this seat? It's incredibly comfortable. It is a little different. You're gonna have to get used to it because it is so wide, it wraps around your booty. That's kind of the whole point of it. I started watching Big Tito, just cause he's funny. And he rides a Kepler. I've been watching a lot of his videos, almost all of them. And it's definitely cool to see his thoughts on the, the bike. And he's a pretty new YouTuber, so just gonna send him a little bit of love. But if you're interested in the Kepler, like I know a lot of you are, I know there's several of you now that have them because I've made a couple Kepler videos that brought you guys over to my channel. But just seeing the sheer speed of that bike, boy. Basically, from what it looks like, the pedal assist one goes 20 miles an hour and the battery can last you a crap ton of time. I should probably go film there. But this is the high school. Looks like they had something going on today. It is a weekday, so interesting. There's a tuba guy over there practicing the tuba. Maybe it was band practice today. I remember those days I was in the band. Man, look at the sunset. Well, my man, Big Tito. He makes raw vlogs, basically. Just like this, where you're riding around. You don't have any different cam camera angles. And, you know, that's kind of how I started. Now, I did have this unbelievably mad desire to learn how to make my videos better and I learned by watching a lot and reading and watching a lot of videos about editing and now I could pump I could literally probably pump out a video every day if I make them like this But I like to do, I like to do a little bit of a mixture. And that's what you get on this channel. A little bit of everything. In the next couple months, 
you're going to get a lot of bit of everything. This isn't necessarily another video test of the GoPro, but this is my only, this is only my second day with the camera. So it kind of is a test. But mainly, I like to ride around and think about stuff to add to my videos. Like for instance, I gotta ride my bikes around and test these seats out because I'm making a seat video, so. Lots of bike riding coming up here. I got another new e-bike coming tomorrow. It seems like they're coming daily. That's probably gonna be the case here for the next couple months. The next couple months, I'm gonna be riding probably almost every day. Here we go, let's wake up the neighbors. This is what attracts everybody to you. You can hear this thing coming from like probably a quarter mile away. Sounds like a Jeep. Sounds like a big four wheel drive truck. I don't know what it sounds like out there, but right here, that's what it sounds like. Especially when you get up to this speed. I could only imagine what the Kepler sounds like. If you want to ride late at night though, you might want to invest in some street tires, especially if you're riding on the street. Now, I did take the Magic Cycle off-road. One of my only off-road videos I have. And we put it through a rigorous test, so I'll link that video up above so you can check that one out. But ever since that video, this thing's been performing just as good as it did from day one. I have been riding it around quite a bit. A lot of it off video. I do have a Magis Cycle front rack that came in. I will do an install video of that. I'm pretty much the only guy that rides around on an e-bike in my little town. So, I do draw a lot of attention to myself. Now, when I'm riding my Rideal with the blue lights everywhere, that really ca catches some attention. Yeah, this is my favorite hill to go fast. So I'm not gonna give my full review of this seat yet. I'm just gonna tell you that it's pretty comfortable. I do also like the biker room seat. I'll leave a link in the description for all the four seats that I'm testing, just so you guys can read about them. And then in a few, in a month or so, I'll tell you all about them. And I did go to Walmart today and looked at their bike section just for the heck of it. I mean, that's not the only reason I did. Watch this. Oh God, I might have just knocked my, nope, I didn't. That's what that double walled chain guard's good for. Don't have to worry about the chain flying off. But I, I went to Walmart today, went to their bike section, and they had the same Sealy Royale brand bike stuff as Amazon. They didn't have the seat that I'm testing, but they had some seat cushions by them. So, if it's any consolation, go check your local Walmart. 
see if they have a better deal than Amazon. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I'm sure you could probably check their website and see if it's in stock in your store, but that's not always accurate. All right, see ya. Have a good day, you too. <laughs> see, I told you, I'm like a local celebrity in this bitch. Oh wait, I shouldn't cuss. <laughs> Them little kids are gonna start watching me. They, they want to ride the Magicycle. They're like, uh, I don't know, 10? 10 to 12, somewhere around there. Maybe a little bit older. They're pretty cool. Are you just gonna sit there or are you gonna go? Okay, I'll go around you. It's cool. He wants a Hover One. I'm pretty sure you can get those at Walmart. Not that there's anything wrong with them. I actually think I saw somebody with one the other day. That's kind of weird that he mentioned that. Not the same kid though. But this is why Randy Rides needs to carry some damn stickers with him. He has these encounters, but they'll be on my YouTube channel. I didn't want to put them in there too much because you know, they're young kids. I don't have the parents consent. But I'm sure you're gonna watch this video because you're gonna be wondering when you're gonna make it. Shoot me an email. I know you all, all you kids have email now. Shoot me an email and give me your address and I'll mail, mail you some stickers. I just need your address. Whatever address you wanna give me, that way I can ship them to you. Of course, ask your parents if it's okay, but I'm a good guy, don't worry. He's like, can I ride it? If you weren't so young, I would have let you. Or if I was on a different bike, I probably would have let you. Am I gonna be on your YouTube channel? Yeah. <laughs> Do you wanna be? Yes. They're super excited, it's super cute. And if you haven't already, you gotta subscribe to this channel. Not only is it fun and entertaining, but There's also going to be some really good content coming around the corner. And there's some really good content that's happened in the past. Lots of good videos, even the old ones are still pretty decent. I still get comments on one of my very most popular, very first electric XP videos. One of the mods I did. Probably number two video on my channel. Number one is an AirPods case video back when I was just messing around. It didn't really have a purpose. But this one, this channel is here to stay. I don't plan on going anywhere. This to me is like my hobby. I kind of stopped doing 3D printing because this has taken up more of my time. But I still enjoy doing that too. And I try to integrate that into my videos sometimes, but lately it's just been e-bike content, prompting content. But I'll see you guys in the next video. We got a pretty good one coming up here soon. Also, I just dropped the video today as I'm filming this, riding the EUYK6 around and testing the GoPro 10. So if you haven't seen that one, go back a video, check that one out. I'll leave it as a video at the end of this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for some more awesome electric bike content from Randy Rides.